got this uh, 2013 Mercedes S550, and the customer is complaining that it has a parasitic draw. And the battery goes dead uh, within a couple of weeks, and sometimes less than that, uh, if you just let it sit. And so uh, I've got the battery disconnected, um, so we're going to be using this meter to... Uh, to diagnose the vehicle. So I just go into, you know, digital meter, uh, amps internal, and uh, this tool is able to, you know, measure shunt amps. Um, so you can do it without a low amp probe. And if you look at the draw on this, it's, you know, 35, 40 milliamps. I'll zoom in so we can get a better look at the screen here. But uh, So anyway, um, uh, the spec on this car is under 85 milliamps is good, and this thing is way under that number. So this had been to a shop or two to be checked out, and both shops said, you know, look, there's uh, there's no draw in this car. We recorded it, and, you know, it's uh, it's within spec, well within spec. Um, but uh, we're going to do this a little different. Notice that it bounces high every once in a while. We just saw like 100 milliamps go by, but for the most part, it stays 35, 38. But um, I don't like the fact that it's wiggling around. And if it's not a nice steady number, something is going on. So I'm going to change from... Uh, reading this on a digital meter, and we are going to scope the amperage. And this tool is cool in that it can it can scope shunt amps. It doesn't have to have uh, a low amp probe in order to measure it. And so notice that I've got big peaks on this thing. I've got uh, you know 100 milliamps or close to 100 milliamps uh, on occasion. So what I'm going to I'm going to and this is you know a regular cadence. Like let me slow this thing down a little bit. So I'm on one second sweep speed. If I go to five seconds, you can see this is a regular pulse, right? Um, and so something else is going on here. So let me speed this back up again. I'll go to one second sweep speed. Oh, notice it jump way up there, over 160 milliamps. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause this, and then we're gonna get these kind of centered here. Yeah, that's good enough. All righty, so let me get some cursors up. If I go to my, there, get cursor number one at the beginning of that little spike, get it at the, kind of the end of the other one. So, um, you know, somewhere around uh, 50 milliseconds, maybe 45 milliseconds, that this thing is, uh, is a high amp draw, right? Uh, so 100 milliamps or whatever that is is, is too high. Um, it's out of spec for this car. And so if I got a 50 milliamp, or I'm, I'm sorry, I've got a 50 millisecond draw. And it's about, you know what, I'll call that half a second, right? Uh, just for nice round numbers. That means for uh, a little over 10% of the time, this has a draw that's out of spec. And the lab scope sees it, but the digital multimeter does not. A meter bounces around a little bit, but doesn't tell me what I've got going on. So, you know, heck yeah, a, uh, a 100 milliamp draw will certainly kill the battery um, within a couple of weeks. And so anyway, what we've got is this, you know, high amperage pulse going on on a regular cadence, and it's not showing up on a multimeter. And what it was is this car had a remote start added to it. Um, and when we disconnect this, we unplug it out of the system, the draw drops down to like 30 milliamps and stays there. And so whatever's going on with this, uh, with this remote start unit is the cause of the high draw on this. So anyway, just uh, showing that uh, sometimes a digital meter is not all you need to, uh, to measure these, that uh, sometimes they can be very misleading as to, as to what the draw is. So anyway, um, you know, uh, use more than one tool in the toolbox uh, um, if you've got it. I'm not a big fan of using the low amp probe, you know, something that clips around the wire uh, in order to do these, you know, to do parasitic draw by, you know, clamping around one of the battery cables. Um, but in this case, it would work. You'd be able to at least see the high amp pulses. Um, so anyway, there's a you know, quick demo on. Uh, sometimes you need more than just uh, a multimeter to diagnose these parasitic draws.